Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 40th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have covered remaining features of Power BI desktop. I hope guys you are clear with the features. And now in today's class, we will study some more remaining feature of Power BI desktop. And guys, this is the last part of report building. And from next class, we will study about Power BI services. So guys, we have almost covered all the features of Power BI desktop and after end of this class, we will complete the full course of Power BI desktop. So guys, firstly, we will remind the process. So we have extracted the data, then transform and then load. After that, we have created some relationship in modeling tab. Then we have performed some DAX function here. After that, we have also covered this building report. So only one step is left with this published report and we will start from next class. So we have completed all six steps of this report making. And now let's start the class with remaining features. So let me go to the sales analysis page first. So firstly, I will go to this insert tab. And guys, I have skipped this option in previous video. So I will cover under this video. So this option is shapes. So you guys can take any shapes from here. Let's say if I take this rectangle shape. So you just simply click here and you can change the colors. So you can play with the formatting part. In a similar way, you guys can take more shapes. If you want to take this line shape, so you can take this line visual. So here is the line visual guys and you can rotate from here. Let's say 90 degree. So this line color is yellow guys, which is not much visible. So you guys can play with the color according to yourself. So in this way guys, we can use this shapes options. Let me remove both the visuals. So guys, in this way, we can use various shapes. You can use any shapes from here. And now move towards another feature of Power BI. So we have ended our class with this shrink slicer. Now go to this help option. And here is nothing much to cover guys. So we will skip this. Now guys, I will click on this visual under this report. So we guys can see, we can see two more options are here, which is format and data drill. Go to the format option. We have one more important feature in Power BI desktop, which name is edit interaction. So with the help of edit interaction, we can restrict the filtration of any visual in our report. So guys, let's understand this concept with practical. So as we know, guys, Power BI is an interactive tool, which means if we click any of the visual under this report, then it will interact with visual in just one click. Let's say if I click here in Ashish Kumar, then we can see all the values are changed in just one click and all page filter with this Ashish Kumar. So Ashish Kumar has sold nothing. So let me click here on Rahul Sharma. So we can see the whole page is filtered with Rahul Sharma sales. So guys, now this time our requirement is I don't want to interact this particular visual. Let me uncheck this Rahul Kumar. So I want to restrict the filtration of this particular visual. So for stop this filtration, I will use this option, which is edit interaction. So I click on this visual and go to edit interaction. So guys, we can see this stop sign in each and every visual except this pie chart. So what we need to do, we need to select any other visual. And now we can see this stop sign has appear here. And now I will click on this stop button. which means I have stopped the filtration on this particular visual. And now if I will select any value from the slicer, let's say Pragya Mittal. So guys, we can see that all the visuals are filtered, but this pie chart is not filtered because we have restricted the filtration with the help of edit interaction. So now I will click on this Ashish Kumar. Then again, we can see except pie chart, all visuals are interacting. And for removing this added interaction, we need to click on this filter sign. 
and now we can check the filtration if i click on ashish kumar so now we can see this visual is also filtering so guys i hope you are clear with the concept of edit interaction and now we will study some more feature about power bi which is bring forward and send forward so guys these features are not much useful in power bi but we will cover it so let me take one more visual from here let's say i will take this card visual and let me resize it and i will overlap this visual on this card visual let me drag and drop this return under this card visual and i want guys this total sale card visual should be in front so i will select this card visual and click bring forward so this card visual will be in front of this visual and if i select backward so it will back to the position so guys this is not much useful let's move towards the other features let me remove this visual from here now guys we will move towards this option which is selection so after clicking this selection button selection pane will open and you can hide or unhide the visual of the report so let me close this so now come to the alignment part so let's say this is my visual guys and i want to align it as a left if you want to align in and center so you guys can click on align in center so guys normally we don't use this feature because we can simply drag and drop the visual according to your requirement and we have many more alignment features so you guys can practice yourself now comes to this group option so let's say i want to group these two visuals like total sales and product wise sale so with the help of group button i can group both the visuals so let me select this visual first and i will press control click and select second visual now go to the group button click here on group so now guys if i move this card visual so you can see this visual is grouped with pie chart so in this way guys you can group multiple visuals if you want to add more visual so you just simply need to click the other visual and go to format tab and click group now we can see we have three visuals are grouped with this card visual and if you guys want to ungroup this visual so you just simply click here and go to format tab and click ungroup so now we can see this visual is ungrouped and in this way you guys can also merge with other visuals and now guys we will move towards the last concept of our power bi desktop so you guys can see here here is the option of drill through so guys drill through is also a kind of filter so to explain this filter let me create one more page here so i will take this table visual from here guys and i will put customer name here and i will also put country name here and last i will drag and drop the total sales so guys if i scroll this visualization pane here so we guys can see the option of drill through now what i do i just simply select the country name and simply i drag and drop this column in drill through so once you drop this column here then you can see back button is appear here now i will simply press this button with control button and this page directly take you up to the sales analysis page now we can see under this pie chart we have four countries are here and we want to see only details version of china country which is reflecting in yellow color so guys i go here in this pie chart and simply do right click so we can see drill through option has appear here and if i click here then we can see it simply displaying the page name which is page 1 and let me click this page 1 option and now we can see it is displaying only china sales let me again press back button guys and now i want to see the india details only so india is in orange color 
so what i do i just simply go here in pie chart and do right click and drill through it will navigate to your page one so guys here we can see the detailed version of india so guys in this way we can use this feature so guys if i click here on this pie chart and do right click so we can't see any drill through option because we haven't applied drill through option on product by sale so if you want to apply drill through here you again need to go here in page one and select the product column and you need to drag and drop into the drill through as well as in, in this table so now i do control click here so now guys i want to see the detailed version of bread sale so now i do simply right click here and now we can see the drill through option has appear here and it will navigate to the page one and here we can only see the bread sale so guys drill through function is very useful in power bi so guys with this concept we are ending our classes of power bi desktop and from next class we will study about power bi services i hope guys you are clearly understood these concept of power bi and guys for paid interview preparation training or full course training you guys can connect me on linkedin so thank you so much guys for your more love and support and please stay tuned with us and please support this channel and guys please do like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much guys